hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl crochet in this video we're going to see how to crochet this beautiful 3d floral coaster and if you want a free written pattern of this coaster it's available in my website the yarnbowlcrochet.com if you have an instagram account do follow me on my instagram handle as well i post project videos and fun reels on my instagram and if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new video I'm going to use this uh, very soft yarn which is uh, Premier Yarns Mini Keens. I'm going to use butter and teal um, shades for working this coaster and you will need uh, some pearl at the end, glue gun and scissors and we'll also need a stitch marker and the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook for working this pattern. So using the yarn butter so I'm going to work a magic ring with my 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and then I'm going to work a chain 3. This chain 3 is considered as our first double crochet and then I'm going to go ahead work 11 more double crochets on my magic ring. So with the starting chain 3 and 11 more double crochet we would have worked 12 double crochets on the magic ring. So once you have completed your 11 double crochets, tighten the magic ring and we'll be working a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 3. Now let's tighten the magic ring and work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 3 to close our round 1. So this is the end of round 1 and we should have 12 double crochet stitches. Remember we are considering our chain 3 on the start as a double crochet stitch. After our round 1 is done, tighten the magic ring and secure it with a knot. You can snip off this extra yarn if you want to do so. Now let's start working round 2. For round 2 we are going to work a chain 3. This chain 3 is considered as our first double crochet and we are going to go ahead work one more double crochet on the same stitch. That's our starting stitch and then we are going to go ahead work two double crochets on each stitch around. We are basically doing an increment here so we will be working two double crochets on each stitch of our round one. So at the end of round two we are going to have 24 double crochet stitches. Go ahead work two double crochets on each stitch around and after that you will be working a slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3 to close this round 2. So at the end of round 2 you should have 24 double crochet stitches. Now let's go ahead work round 3. For round 3 we are going to work a chain 3 which is considered as our first double crochet stitch and on the next stitch I will work two double crochet stitches. So we are going to increment by working one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochet on the next stitch around. So this is again an increment and we should have 36 double crochet stitches at the end of round 3. So now go ahead work one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochet on the next stitch around and I will meet you at the end of this round. So 
so now we are at the end of round 3 and we should have 36 stitches at the end of this round let's go ahead work round 4 for round 4 I'm going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet and then I'll work one double crochet on the next stitch as well and then on the next stitch I'm going to work two double crochet on the same stitch so this increment we are going to work by working one double crochet each for two stitches and then two double crochet worked on the same stitch for the next stitch and we are going to repeat this around you should have 48 double crochet stitches at the end of this round so once you are done with round 4 we are going to work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 3 to close this round 4 and you should have 48 stitches at the end of your round 4 so continue working this and we are at the end of round 4 here I am going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3 that's it we have worked our round 4 now for round 5 I am going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet stitch and then I am going to work one double crochet on the next stitch and then I am going to go ahead work a chain 4 and then I will skip two stitches and then I will work one double crochet each for next two stitches and then I will work chain 4 again and then I will skip two stitches and then I will work one double crochet each on next two stitches go ahead work a chain 4 skip two stitches and then I will work one double crochet each on next two stitches repeat this pattern around until we reach the end of this round and work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3 to close this round so that is the end of round 5 now for round 6 before working round 6 I am going to work slip stitch until we reach the chain 4 space and then we can change the yarn color I am going to change the yarn color to teal then I am going to start working round 6 and we are going to work a chain 3 and then I am going to work 2 double crochet and then I am going to work 1 triple crochet so the starting chain 3 is again considered as our first double crochet after working 1 triple crochet I am going to work a picot stitch which is nothing but a chain 3 and then slip stitch on the starting stitch after working picot I am going to work 1 triple crochet again and then I will work 3 double crochet remember we have worked a chain 3 and then 2 double crochet so we are going to end this with 3 double crochets so we have worked our first petal now to create the 3D effect we are going to work stitches on the post of the two double crochet stitches on the previous round now I am going to pick the post of double crochet that is farther away and then in that post I am going to work six double crochet stitches so 
remember we are not working on the stitch we are working on the post of the double crochet now we have one stitch in between these two double crochet stitches or on the stitch below the two posts I am going to work two double crochet stitches and in the next post in the next double crochet post I am going to work six double crochet stitches again so this is how we create that 3d effect So six double crochet worked on the post that is farther away from the stitch we worked and then two double crochet in between the post of two double crochet stitches and then six double crochet worked on the next post this creates this beautiful 3d effect now on the chain four space I am going to work three double crochet stitches after working three double crochet stitches work one triple crochet stitch after the triple crochet stitch work one picot stitch which is nothing but chain three and working slip stitch on the starting stitch and then work one triple crochet stitch and then work three double crochet stitch so we work three double crochet one triple crochet picot followed by one triple crochet three double crochet everything worked on the chain four space now pick the double crochet post that is farther away from the stitch that we are working and in that post we are going to work six double crochet stitches and on the stitch that's below these two double crochet stitches we are going to work two double crochet stitches on the stitch below these two posts and in the first double crochet post we are going to work six double crochet stitches so these six double crochet stitches are worked on the post So now we have created the next 3D pattern. So we are going to basically repeat this pattern around. So on the chain 4 space we will be working 3 double crochet, 1 triple crochet, 1 picot and then three 1 triple crochet, 3 double crochet. So we are working 3 double crochet, 1 triple crochet, picot and then we will work one triple crochet three double crochet everything worked on the chain four space and in the post farther away we will be working six double crochet stitch and in the stitch below these two posts we will work two double crochet stitch and in the first post we are going to work six double crochet stitch so we have created our third petal here and please continue working this pattern around you should have all the petals and I'll meet you at the end of this round so after we work this pattern around I'm going to go ahead work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 3 to close this round 6 and uh, go ahead work slip stitch and snip your yarn and weave the ends and you can snip off all the odd bits of yarn
now if you have a glue gun and some pearls you can just add some hot glue on those pearls and stick them on every petal that we have worked this is totally optional if you don't want to do it, it's perfectly fine and uh, I'm just go going to just add some pearls to it so here it is we have created our beautiful 3d floral coaster and uh, I just created this in one more color and this yarn is really soft to work with and it also has a nice definition to it once worked so try this pattern at home and let me know your comments and if you want a free written pattern of this 3d coaster it's available in my website theyarnboldcrochet.com link for that is available in the description and if you have an instagram account to follow me on my instagram handle as well i post project updates and fun reels on my instagram and please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn board thanks for watching bye